Match of the season, 1978-79. Halifax Town 2, Portsmouth 0. 3rd of March, 1979. It was not just the result that made this match memorable. The mere fact that Halifax Town were playing at the Shea at all was significant. It was actually their first home fixture since being defeated by Wigan Athletic on the 16th of December, almost three months previously. The Arctic weather that plagued the football programme had put pay to seven scheduled Shea matches. This game too was in doubt the day before, but once referee Burden had passed the pitch fit to play, town boss George Kirby was hopeful for a bumper crowd. He had several reasons. The Halifax supporters had been starved of their football, Portsmouth were attractive opposition, and town had won their second game of the season seven days earlier at Port Vale. This Portsmouth side was a shadow of that which had won the league championships in 1949 and 1950, but were still regarded a big name. And in manager Jimmy Dickinson, they retained connections with those Hal- days, Halcyon days. He had played a record 764 league games for them between 1946 and 1965, winning 48 England caps in the bargain. But having gone into management, he had been responsible for taking the club into the 4th division for the first time. When Portsmouth arrived at the Shea, they were hard- handily placed for a swift return, though had slipped to 4th after being top in January. Seven days earlier they had lost at home to Grimsby and were keen to make amends. Odds favoured them, with Town stranded at the foot of the table and it was Pompey who had the best of the early exchanges. Future England defender Steve Foster headed against the bar, but it was the Shea men who got the breaks. When they were awarded a free kick, Kevin Johnson's shot was headed from the left-hand corner till the ball, ball caught Peter Ellis and flew into the other side of the neck with keeper Mellor, an FA Cup finalist with Fulham four seasons earlier, stranded. Six minutes later, Johnson met Franny Firth's cross and guided the ball inside the far post. Town had further chances to make the game safe, but had to contend with the rough arm tactics of a Portsmouth side that got more and more frustrated. At one point, George Kirby, remonstra- George Kirby remonstrated with the referee, for in the end, cuts and bruises were, a bit, were all but a small price to pay for two valuable, well-earned points. It was Town's first home win since the second Saturday of the season, and saw them close the gap. Gap slightly to four points over next bottom Rochdale.